Hello, friends. I like the user interface of the Gargoyle firmware. It looks clean. Last time I tried to install the Gargoyle firmware on the Mi Wi-Fi Router 4, it's installed, but some functions didn't work. Because I installed the R3G firmware on the Mi Wi-Fi Router 4, the feeling is just like when you wear larger size or shoes. It just doesn't fit. So today, I'm going to install it on the R3G Router. It should work well. I have Breed installed on my R3G router, but I don't know if I can directly install Gargoyle firmware from the Breed web console. So I decided to get into the stock firmware, then use the mtd command to install Gargoyle. It's simple for me. Just uh, use the OpenWrt Invasion script to get into the stock firmware, then run a few commands, then the job is done. It may be even faster than using the Breed web console. There are several images on the Gargoyle website, I'm not sure which one to download. But from experience, we need to flash the images into kernel 1 and uh, root FS0 partitions. I have done this job many times on other devices, so I'll just download these two images. Now I start the OpenWrt Invasion script to get into the device. The device needs to be connected to the internet. Later, it will download some necessary files from the internet to start a telnet service for us to connect. We also need to provide the token. The token is in the address bar of the administration webpage. Copy it and give it to the script. A few moments later. Okay, now we log in the stock firmware. The entire firmware is now running in memory. We need to copy the two images into memory, then write them into the flash storage. There are several ways to transfer the files, such as SCP and FTP. But I will use the Python simple HTTP server function to transfer because I don't have a good FTP client on my laptop. The images are in the downloads directory. I'll just start the HTTP server from the downloads directory. Oops, root privilege required. So all the files in the downloads directory will be available over the local network. Then go to the router. Use the wget command to download the files from the HTTP server. I'll just put the images in the TMP directory. TMP directory usually allows us to write. Now the ingredients are ready. Run the mtd command to write the images into flash. Because the stock firmware is based on OpenWrt, so we can find some frequently used tools, such as wget and the mtd in the stock firmware. OK, after the images are written, we need to edit the environment variable to make sure to boot from the kernel 1 partition, because that is where we have the gargoyle firmware installed. You know the partition thing on the flash storage, right? I have another video talking about that. If you are not sure about that, please check this video. If you are using the stock bootloader, then add these variables into nvram. Just type in these commands, just like what I did for the Redmi router, then reboot you will put into the new firmware. I'm using the breed bootloader. The nvram command doesn't work for me now. I need to log in the breed web console, add this environment variable on the web page, tell breed to boot from the position of the second kernel. 
they are actually the same thing, just、uh, two different bootloaders, two different ways to configure. Then we reboot. A few minutes later, Gargoyle firmware will start running. And here we see all the features it has. It even supports auto reboot. I set it to reboot at 4 a.m. every day to free up some memory. If you want the router to do some more things automatically, then you need to SSH into the firmware, then set up cron tab. Okay, that is all for this video. If you like the video, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Bye bye.